The mayor of Edmonton wanting to declare a housing and homelessness emergency in our city, calling for a special meeting of city council on Monday, where he will put forward a motion. In a statement, Mayor Amarjeet Sohi says he is concerned about allegations that recent encampment teardowns do not align with the city's commitment to upholding reconciliation. If city council approves this emergency declaration, so he says his next steps will be to request a meeting with federal, provincial and Treaty 6 leaders. To tackle this appropriately, we need everyone at the same table working in the same direction. Most of the homeless encampments cleaned up by police are in Councillor Ann Stevenson's ward. She supports the mayor's move. Hopefully this will crystallize the action and the focus on this issue. Uh, I think for me the greatest opportunity is just bringing all partners to the table. So his announcement comes at a time when the city is in court for a second day against a human rights group who is suing the city for its encampment response. The Coalition for Justice and Human Rights alleging that the removal of encampments violates the charter rights of unhoused people. The lawyers representing the group arguing against the city's claims made in court Wednesday saying the coalition is well suited to represent houseless Edmontonians. The coalition is the right party to bring legal action on behalf of people living in encampments because of its track record of advocating on behalf of and providing support services directly to people living in encampments. No decision was made on the preliminary hearing in court. They will return Tuesday. The group's injunction application can't go ahead until the judge rules on a number of preliminary applications made by the city. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News. In response to Mayor Amarjeet Sohi's announcement of his intention to declare an emergency, Deputy Premier Mike Ellis put out a statement saying an emergency cabinet committee was created in November in response to the crime and gang-related activity within encampments in Edmonton, saying Alberta's government cares deeply about vulnerable Edmontonians and we will always ensure that anyone who wants shelter and supportive services will receive it. However, we will not stand by and watch as vulnerable Albertans and the general public continue to be extorted, taken advantage of and killed by gangsters and deadly drugs. Ellis says the province will continue to respond to these issues following the court decision on Tuesday.